Here, the treasurer, tax collector, and other county departments have hundreds of thousands of dollars that are owed to you, taxpayers. We're working for your wallet to make sure you aren't missing out on any of this money. So, we have San Diego County Treasurer, tax collector Dan McAllister live in the studio to tell us more. Reuniting people with their money, Dan, here. It's a lot better to give the money back than to collect it, I it would is. imagine. It's yeah. kind of like the, the uh, syndrome that people call the Robin Hood syndrome. Yeah, that's right. Giving yes. money away, and, and we, we hope people will step up and claim that money. Yeah, so uh, we, we have hundreds of thousands, over half a million dollars here. How many right. people are we talking about that have money that they are currently owed? Over a thousand. Wow, okay. A lot of people. It could be a little bit, could be a lot, could be in between, but there's money there. And yeah. If they just go on to our website, sdttc.com, they'll find their name there, we hope, and yeah. um, file uh, online and come in if they want. Uh, but we want to reunite them with their money. It's is this not just taxes, or what, what is, what is well, this money coming it's from? It's myriad things. Uh, uh, taxes are one. Uh, people may have overpaid uh, by virtue of a downsizing of their, uh, um, uh, what am I looking for here? Their homes the value or their value? Their okay, sure. So uh, then there's a gap. Okay. Owed some money and so they may not even know that they overpaid. That's why we encourage people to go out gotcha. and check it out. Okay, easily. so on this website, I went to it and I pulled up some information. It's very easy. You can just put in your name. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not owed any money, so I did I did check that. Sure. I mean, why not? It took me 10 seconds. And there's, I mean, I can tell you, Vanessa Mattering, you're owed $3. I mean, just fill out the thing, you'll get three bucks. On the flip side of that, though, when you look at some of these, these companies, there's a PC club that's owed $14,000. And uh, Erlinda Ventura, the estate of Erlinda Ventura, seventeen thousand well, dollars. I mean, that's a lot of money in this day and age. Up. And when you think about a half a million dollars, a lot of good can be done with that money mm -hmm. if it just puts it back into cycle. Yeah, absolutely. With the recession, yeah. Yeah. Uh, with uh, inflation, I should say that th things are going up, things are costing more. Every penny matters. Um, so it's interesting. We don't always know the backstory. Right. of why things aren't being collected. We just know who the money belongs to and who is owed to, right? Have you guys been able to figure out some of the situations? We have been, and, and we are diligent in our pursuit of the owners of that money. We try very hard every year to give back all of their money, but it just doesn't happen. Yeah. And, uh, it's curious to me why people wouldn't step up, like you say, and just check in with an online you know, yeah. ability. Does it go up or down each year? Is this about the usual, the usual amount? It depends on it? what's happening in the economy. Okay, and interesting. And remember, if somebody is foreclosed upon or some of those kinds of things, we're looking at a five-year timetable. Oh, interesting, uh, okay. And the state code says we will advertise these things to let people know their money is there for them. And um, I think we're more zealous in our pursuit than many other counties. Uh, we want to see people get that money back. How, how, how often does this have to deal with uh, someone who may have passed and they just, uh, the family didn't know there was monies or that were over or underpaid? Yeah, there are people in the uh, employ of the county that actually uh, focus in on people who have serious illnesses or those kinds of things okay. uh, and might be owed money. Interesting. Uh, okay, so it's as simple as going to the website, and then I, I think there's like a claim form or yes. something you got to fill. So walk us through the process. Very straightforward. SDTTC.com. That's the place to turn on the, the machine and okay. activate uh, what needs to be done. It's sure. a simple thing, and people need to just follow the instruction, and they'll be led to the promised land of more money. There we go. Oh, you could use that. Um, what kind of average payout are we talking about or, or, or claim? Well, it varies. I mean, like you said, $3, uh, but more likely we don't dip below $10. Yeah. And there aren't a lot of those. But, you know, when you look at some of these, 41000 huh. is the highest possible refund wow. we found. So 41 some, grand. Somebody is owed that money. I know if I'd be missing $41,000. Exactly. Yeah. But you, you look at what the, could happen if you just picked up 1000 bucks. Yeah. You might fill your gas tank 10 or 15 times. Yeah. Uh, electrical bill uh, goes without saying. It'll be higher. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no shots. No. Uh, I, but uh, um, It's probably more like 10 times on uh, the gas, a, too. A yeah. gym, gym membership, two years. All those things help. I mean, uh, they all help. Child care. I mean, those yeah. are valuable uh, outcomes. It all adds up. Uh, of this all right. Work. Well, Dan, thanks for coming in and walking us through this. It really is worth just taking a few seconds to check it out. Thank you again for, for coming in, sir. Uh, stay with us, everyone. We're taking a quick break. We will be right back after this.